Taurus, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name is Jen Dawson, welcome to Jen TV. All right, Taurus, let's take a look at your next 72 hours. How's that gonna pan out for you? Next 72 hours for Taurus, please. In romance, cause this is my thing, this is my jam, doing romance. Love, love readings. Oh, you love a love reading I do. All right, Taurus. And now about love for the next 72 hours. Bear in mind, my love, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look in the description box below. There is a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There is also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. I only book private readings via my website. You have to come to my website, gentvtarot.com. That's the only way to get a reading. You are not going to get a reading from me emailing you or or uh, being in the comments below saying, hey, this is my WhatsApp. That's not me. Don't be fooled by it. There are scammers around, my loves. You have to come to my website. So the next 72 hours for Taurus. I don't see much change for you at the moment. Let's get all the cards out first. I don't see what's changed for you, but for some reason, it might not feel like it, but you're on the right path here, it is. Whatever you're doing, it's all moving in the right direction. You're not sort of focusing on the things that you can't, you don't have any power over it. I think it's sort of things that have been stressing you out recently. I've got something in my eye, sorry. Things that have been stressing you out recently, of late, you've kind of taken your focus off of it and you realise I, I have no power over this situation. So, what can I do? I can't stress about it. Get on with it. And that, attitude is kind of what's getting you in the right direction so you, you there's nothing you can do surrender right so what you need to know right now we've got the queen of pentacles pentacles are about money i sort of my personal feelings towards the queen of pentacles when i see this card this is about also, like, if you look at the leaves there, I'm sort of <laughs> going off in different tangents here, sorry. I feel like this, but then there's the... Sorry. So, have a look at the leaves first. This is kind of autumnal leaves. So it's now, right? It's, it's you know, the leaves are falling all around. I was out my way. Um, so this is now, and it... I see the Queen of Pentacles as a kind of a home person, someone who, who focuses on home and, and making that a safe place, a practical safe place to be. It all makes sense, you know. That's kind of what is going on. Home. It's safe. It's, it's you know, good food. Comfort. Comfort zone. Okay. I'm always one for saying step out of your comfort zone, but, you know, this is... This is what's going on right now. Your comfort zone, your security. Tell me more. You're not focusing on what you have no power over. You don't want to rock the boat. You don't want... You don't want to chase... waterfalls in a sense you know you don't want to chase things that you know are 
going to get away from you in the end. You don't want to chase things that aren't real illusions. You have no power over this situation. So stop. So there's somebody. This is a love reading. There's somebody who you... You've stopped thinking, I, I, I must control this situation. I have to do this. I have to do this. I have to control it. I have to make it work for me. has to be my way it has to be like this you've stopped doing that now good now you're on the right path you stop trying to control the situation you're going in the right direction home's been very important to you your security your home finances that's been very important to you but There is this thing, there is this person. I've got justice here. The scales of her aren't balanced at the moment though. Her scales aren't balanced. Justice can be a Libra. We've got Taurus, Taurus Virgo Capricorn twice. Which could be you. I'm just seeing it. her scales aren't balanced. She's not, she's not ready. You see that. You can't control this situation. It's an illusion. You have to let it go. You can't chase it. You can't control it. So you surrender. Let the universe do what it will. You can't let go of this person for some reason though. You like constantly trying to control the situation, not letting the situation come close to you and yet still watching everything that this person does. Like, I can't be with you. I want you. I can't be with you. I've got other things. I've got to deal with this. But I should check in on you every day. Make sure you're uh, not seeing anyone else. What else are you doing? What's going on with you? As I'm asking, this person that, that we're asking about, they're an empress, empress, empress energy. I can't say it. I want to say energy and empress. <laughs> they're in the empress energy because uh, I'm shuffling while talking about them. They're good. They're great. <laughs> Waterfall in the background there. This is your illusion then, is it? This is what you've been trying to control. You know, like, when you try and dam up a waterfall, it just eventually rolls over again, doesn't it? It's, there's nothing you can do. You can't turn back the tide, you can't turn back a waterfall. Things are going to happen. You can't control them. And this is what you've been trying to do. You can't let go of this person. You can't control this person because they're their empress. Sorry, I'm using the light from my computer screen because I can't. I can't. I use these lights. I can't do it. It's, ever since I had that sty, like these lights are just like, mm, I feel like the Gestapo is interviewing me. No. You're on the right path. This is what I'm trying to say. What you've surrendered to, what you're letting go of, what, you sh what you're not trying to control, you're on the right path. So, this is what's coming up in the near future. Strength. Leo. 
your energy of the house. Tell me more. Yeah, I should have checked that one. I, uh, I feel a stuck energy here. What has not been said. There, uh, this is coming up in the near future. Things that haven't been said, it's, it's tormenting you or it's tormenting them. Words left unspoken. You're afraid. I just see, I see with this, you're this Leo little character here, even though you know you're a Taurus, right? Taurus. Take it out, it resonates. This could be a Leo we're talking about. I feel like this is you. You're the wild beast that's being tamed by this gorgeous gal. And she's, you're afraid of that. You're afraid of someone else having that power of you, you being vulnerable with this person and them having the power to hurt you because you've been there and you've done that and you don't want to be there again. So you don't say what you want to say. And what you want to say makes you vulnerable. So you don't say it. And it tortures you and you don't move forwards. But when you stop trying to control the situation, it feels better, right? You're surrendering to what is, to the universe. So stop trying to control it again. So you don't want to say what you want to say, but it's torturing you inside. So just let it out. You know, even if it's just on your own in a room. And you say the words out loud and see how it feels. I'm in love with you. If that's how you feel about the person. I'm angry at you. If that's how you feel at the person. Why did you behave the way you behave? If that's what's going on in your head. Whatever it is. Why did you come into my life at such a stupid time? <laughs> Maybe so direct that one at the universe. Say it out loud. See how it feels. What do you feel about writing letters? Old school, right? Go analog on that. Go old school. Write a letter out. Maybe you don't send it, but it's there. Maybe you burn it and give it to the universe. I do that quite often. I write letters to people who've crossed the rainbow bridge, if you will. I know people say that about the pets, but I kind of like it. It's like, yeah, the rainbow bridge crossing the rainbow bridge I like that so yeah I, I write letters to people who have crossed over and I burn them that way they get the letter I kind of think of it that way so you, you're afraid of being vulnerable without you see with this five of swords in reverse you're kind of slowly coming around maybe The best you can hope for is that you always want to have control of this situation though. And I feel like the other person involved here perhaps does too. You know? Who doesn't want to have control of a situation? You want to know where you stand. You want to know what page you're on with somebody. You want to... I don't know. You don't want to be... Casting wildly about in a storm while well, it's raging around you and you've got nothing to protect you, right? This is, this is what love feels like sometimes. It's a freaking tornado of, you know, vulnerability and yearning and pain. You want something to freaking anchor you, right? And... 
both of you trying to have control of the situation is not helping. So best you can hope for is guys, stop trying to, if you're cross watching, stop trying to control the situation. You Taurus yourself, stop trying to control the situation. Oh, well, it's difficult when, yeah, okay, okay, it's making a whole lot more sense, yeah. So we got, we got this Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, so we've got the uh, um, Justice as well. We've got you. And we've got this other person here, Aries Leo Sag. And you're in this energy of how can, what, what, what you know? <laughs> what? How do I control this? Which one? Who do I go for? What do I do? What decision? I'll just, I'll, you know what? I'll just control it. I'll, I'll be in charge. Nobody, nobody gets to be in charge except for me. Then I know what I'm doing. Then I know what's going on. Everything's fine. It's all good. I'm in control. feels better when you're surrendering to the universe though right but you can't this is this is the energy that you're in controlling it dominating it trying you are trying to be the boss of the situation you know what when it comes around to it this air sign they're like you know what i can't i can't do this they're detaching from it. They're like, you know what? I'm letting go. You gotta do what you gotta do, Taurus. Tell me more about them. They're afraid. They can't say what they want to say. If they ever have, they feel like they can't. They feel like this whole connection was in their head. It's all, I can't pick the cards up. You know when you cut your fingernails and then you can't do anything the day after? They feel like, oh, I made it all up. It's, it's all fantasy in my head. It's unrealistic expectations of, even like, did I make it up? Did, did, they didn't feel anything for me. I, this is just my ego. I just I just wanted them to feel something for me. This is the, where they are. So they're like, okay, well, it's over. It's, it's done. Got to move forwards. How are you going to feel, Taurus? How are you going to feel when they're like, done with you? When they're not sitting there waiting anymore? Because that's what has been happening. They've been waiting. They've been in this hangman energy, waiting. But you've been in this energy of trying to control the situation. But I see, like now, you're like, okay, all right, okay, let's let's see what I can do. But eh, as things spiral out, out out of control, you're like, no, 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 I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get myself back. There's a, I can't let this person have have my heart because then they they have the potential of hurting me, and ah, I can't do that. So it just looks like this back and forth where you ignore them, but then you come back because you're like, you know what? It's too much hard work. Let's surrender. Let's, let's do this. But then it feels too good and you're afraid of somebody breaking your heart again, like you've had in the past. When you switch a light on and off, it breaks the circuits and, and, uh, That's that. You have to uh, you have to go fix it, right? The lights don't work anymore. You have to go to the box. I don't know which one. I freaking... And that's what's happened with this person. You've been there. You've not. You've been there. You've not. And they're just like, you know what? I can't. I'm done. I'm over it. It's done. It was all in my head anyway. I made it all up. You were never interested in me. But you're like. Oh, wait, 
that's how it's going to feel when they're gone. Let's take a look at the outcome. I'm going to read the outcome here, then I am going to take it into the extended, or I'm going to ask about this person for you, Taurus. How do they feel about you? How do they see you? What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you? And some guidance from the universe. But let's take a little look at how it might look if you actually allow yourself to be vulnerable with this person as well. Just a, just a little five card. Let's have a look at that. But let's read this outcome here. Ace of Wands. phallic symbol to me how do you feel how do you feel that they might see other people they've been waiting for you but how do you feel that they might go off and be with somebody else this is your person we're talking about here i know that you're trying to control the situation or you're trying to surrender to it or you're trying to control it whatever you know you're in a little bit of both energy here so you you know Whichever energy you're in there, how are you going to feel knowing that, because you'll be watching, you're watching this person, you're, you can't not. So how are you going to feel when you see that they're moving on? They post up a picture of them with their new person, holding hands, kissing. I'm so happy. Ah, uh, I just. That's not what I wanted. I think the lesson here that we're learning is stop trying to control it. Everything's kind of a little bit better and you're on the right path when you just surrender and let the universe do its thing. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I know I've gone a little bit around the houses here, but I just kind of want to see it from both directions that you could be going in. Bring love into the situation. How are you going to feel when this person's in your arms, when you're waking up with this person? Yeah, there's the other things that are involved. I can't really see all of that. Looks like there's more than one person involved. But how would you feel with this person in your arms? I'm just hearing one word over and over again. Do you want to know what it is? Peace. You feel peace. Contentment. Mm. All right, all right. Unusual, but all right, we'll, we'll pull a couple of these. This is kind of saying, it's, we've got to make the effort in the reverse, so it's kind of the opposite. Just stop trying to control the situation. Then we've got to love yourself first. So, you're so afraid of, of being hurt. Of getting yourself into another situation or a romantic situation with someone where they could hurt you. That's all about patterns, mate. That's all about your life patterns and the kind of people that you've chosen to be with in the past. And that's all about loving yourself, self-love. And healing those wounds. Knowing that when you see a red flag, then you can walk away from it and not protecting yourself before a red flag comes up, right? I don't know. You wait for the red flags? You're not even letting that happen. Your, your walls are well up. You know what I haven't seen? I've seen that there's someone else. I've seen that there's a secure place for you where you 
or perhaps with this person. But I haven't seen much about them. And I see a lot about this other person. I think one of them's in your heart more than the other. The flame's died and the fire is gone. Oh, the empty bed is not alone. I realized that long ago. Fallen by Def Leppard. All right. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Thank you very much for joining me. If you want to watch the extended, take a look in the description box below. Um, yeah. See you later.